Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 7th, 2021. So we have two of my favorite crystals. This is the focus for today, your angelic message. This is some divine guidance coming through for you for today. So we have Chrysocolla, start fresh, love that. And Angelite, support is all around you. So embrace the beauty of this day because you are allowed to reinvent yourself anytime you want. You don't have to participate in the programming. Now, as I say that, what's everyone going to do? I rebel. <laughs> I rebel because I think it helps. It doesn't help. You're making a mess. Knock it off. No, this is talking about coming into that place of peace, being honest with yourself. And again, not sidestepping, not being a rebel, but finding truth somewhere in the middle somewhere in the balancing of your emotions, of your thoughts. Yeah, they're coming in here and saying deeds and actions. Your deeds and actions play a big part in this. So where are we on autopilot? Where do we have our natural storytelling, you know, uh, what we tell ourselves from the past, how we remember it, how we remember you know, maybe not our part in it, but we remember how we were treated unfairly. I think that's a very human reaction <laughs> when we just want to focus on like, no, you did this and don't tell me no different, right? So this is saying, come into that peaceful center. Yes, it's all about alignment, being in your heart center, allowing your light to come out, getting in touch with your expanded consciousness, raising consciousness, guys. We're in it. We're here. We've made it. If you made it out of the spiritual sloppiness of 2012, then you're good. You have graduated. <laughs> I think I feel like we've graduated. So Chrysocolla, I swear, is one of my favorite crystals. And the fact that it says start fresh, this again, I think a lot of people are going to take it right from the surface level of their lives and say, that means I can start fresh in my career a new love partnership or improving a love partnership that I'm in and strengthen it. That's all beautiful. Starting fresh, I'm going to become vegan. I'm going to do intermittent fasting. I'm going to go trail running. I'm going to, what you know, all those things. But that's not what it is. It could be that. But that, you know, that fresh start happens because of your free will choice. What this is talking about, especially with an angelic presence here, an angel light, the support, you're breaking, not just through the veil, you're breaking open um, like into a whole new dimension. May I say that? I'm hesitant to say that because everybody's like, yeah, I'm floating around levitating in the good 5D. Um, why don't you take me with you? What the heck? <laughs> Come get your girl. Okay. She's back here. <laughs> so with the Netflix and the pop tart and the tea out of a mug. Okay. Listen, you know, so like, I don't want to go down that road and everybody puts this magical thinking around it, but rather just from that quiet, peaceful space of the heart and letting the realizations open as we're in that quiet, peaceful place. We're not giving into chaos. We're not giving into, you'll, you'll have your angry moments. You'll have your fearful moments, but we're not going to give into it as if uh, it owns us, right? <laughs> we're not going to live there, not live in that space. The truth that is going to come out of you is not something that necessarily needs to be spoken. It just needs to be realized by you. And again, it will have nothing to do with your surface level life. But everything about, I hesitate to say this too, your origin. Okay, There's my star seeds out there, I love you. <laughs> I love the star seeds. We do tend to, this is, they're even saying this is a star seed. Um, pitfall is getting almost like obsessed with where you came from. And that's all well and good. It's good to like understand yourself and how you function and what is your wavelength is what they're saying. However, all of us came to this earth plane <laughs> while we're in this, let's call it a ship. Okay. I know Michelle's getting crazy over here and I don't even care. I love it. <laughs> but we're on this earth ship if you want to see it that way. And we have something that we need to do. When I say origin, I'm talking about connecting into a divine 
heart space, a divine energy, and not feeling the need to really call it anything. We just, for our discussion here, we will call it the divine. But really, maybe it has no name. Don't forget, guys, the labels of names, gender, having you know, compartmentalized duties, that is all human convention. That's how we perceive things. No, 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 Archangel Gabriel has a name and Gabriel's a male. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> and is in charge of blah, 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 blah. These are the archangels that were created to watch over us. They're not the only angels and archangels out there. They're just the ones that would be known to our humanity. They're the ones that would be helping us through this earth plane existence. And so, because we function that way, they have to appear that way. Why do you think they show up as humanoid? It's because we are so <laughs> focused on thinking that the way we see things as humans, that's just how it is. That's just how it is, right? So, of course, they have to look a little human. And wings, pretty. Why the heck not, right? So that, yeah, they're even saying now, they're coming in here and saying, that is how we appear because that is how your heart will receive. When we connect into this divine space, we'll have this awareness of angels everywhere, what we call angels, okay? It's just, it's just a name that we have. It's a label. We will sense them everywhere. You might even see them, but if you ask them to go in their purest form, I don't think that we can handle seeing that, but the closest thing that they can offer us is letting us see them in their light frequency. And that is how angels often, if we want to call it like appearing, um, have appeared to me as like piercing light, a light that I have no description for. And the love that comes from that. We have the chance to connect into that, always. But let it be a focus for today. Each day in these daily card readings, we have a focus. And there it is. Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> so it's Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel. Well supported with the Archangels here. Archangel Zadkiel. <laughs> An angel. They ain't messing around, y'all. Okay. <laughs> there is a powerhouse around us of Uriels with passion and wisdom. Zadkiel's about transmutation and letting the old stuff go. Michael is all about clarity, courage, strength, speaking your truth, having a deeper understanding, feeling protected. And when we feel protected, I don't know, I find that people have a little more faith, <laughs> right? And they say, okay, well, it may not make absolute sense to me right now, but eventually I'll understand, right? So, and then did I say Gabriel? Gabriel is all about, Zadkiel is about transmutation. Gabriel is about nurturance, creative life force. If you are looking to conceive, be working with Archangel Gabriel. If you are currently pregnant, work with Archangel Gabriel. Um, and you can invoke any angel or archangel on behalf of someone if you have this bit of understanding. We cannot go against human free will. That's why I have such an issue with some approaches out there. With the angels, they go by God's law, which is to not, as I said, not interfere with human free will. So you can ask for someone like a, an archangel to go and help someone out, but it's going to be up to that person's soul as to whether or not they accept it. Okay. So don't be afraid to ask. It's just maybe that person won't accept it. <laughs> they may not even have any awareness, but man, the today is the day to meditate with the angels. I don't care where you are. I don't care if you have to be in a conference room. Take one of my videos, put it on a jumbotron. Somebody did that in a board side story. Someone did that in a boardroom where they had a giant screen TV and put one of my videos up. And I was like, that's not nice. Don't, don't, nobody needs to see my face so stinking big. Oh, I, I could go on and on. Don't do that. <laughs> like in a freaking board meeting. Like, come on. Uh, I mean, I appreciate it, <laughs> like, but no, thank you. Anyway, so we have a huge angelic presence today. If you are just getting started, or even if you've been at this a while, take a few moments, even if you're at work, to stop and meditate and invite the angels in.
All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.